In today's video, Maria will tell you a story about her hometown. You'll learn some useful vocabulary and expressions that are commonly used in everyday conversations. Listen carefully. I am Maria. Last weekend, I returned to my hometown. I hadn't been there for a long time. The train ride was long, but I was excited to see my hometown again. As I got off the train, I looked around and saw the old train station. It looked the same, just as I remembered it. I took a deep breath, and I could smell the familiar scent of flowers and trees. I walked through the small streets. Everything seemed smaller now, but it felt good. I saw the bakery where I used to buy bread every morning with my mom. The smell of fresh bread reminded me of my childhood. I could almost see myself, a little girl, running around with my friends. We used to laugh and play until the sun went down. As I continued walking, I passed by my old school. I stood outside the gate, remembering my teachers and my friends. I remembered the games we played and the stories we shared. My school was still painted the same color. I smiled, thinking about my favorite teacher, Ms. Linda, who always encouraged us to dream big. Next, I went to the park. This was my favorite place. There was a big tree in the middle of the park, and I remembered sitting under it, reading my favorite books. I felt calm and happy under that tree. Now, I sat there again, thinking about the happy times I had spent here. Finally, I reached my old house. It looked smaller than I remembered, but it was still beautiful. I looked at the windows, the door, and the garden. I could imagine my family inside, laughing and having dinner together. It felt like I had never left. Returning to my hometown reminded me of who I am and where I come from. Even though I have grown up and moved away, my hometown will always be a part of me. It is full of memories, laughter, and love. Before we begin our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and expressions from our story. Hometown the place where someone was born or grew up. Example, I love visiting my hometown during the holidays. Familiar, well-known or easily recognized. Example, the familiar sound of birds made me feel at home. Scent. A pleasant smell. Example, the scent of fresh flowers filled the air. Bakery, a place where bread, cakes, and pastries are made and sold. Example, we bought fresh bread from the bakery every morning. Remind, to help someone remember something. Example, the picture reminded me of my best friend. Childhood, the time when someone is a child. Example, my childhood was full of fun and laughter. Encourage, to give someone support or confidence. 
Example, my teacher encouraged me to study hard. Imagine, to form a picture in your mind. Example, I can imagine how happy you must be. All right, time to speaking practice repeat after Maria. I am Maria. I am Maria. Last weekend, I returned to my hometown. Last weekend, I returned to my hometown. I hadn't been there for a long time. I hadn't been there for a long time. The train ride was long. The train ride was long. But I was excited to see my hometown again. But I was excited to see my hometown again. As I got off the train, as I got off the train, I looked around and saw the old train station. I looked around and saw the old train station. It looked the same. It looked the same. Just as I remembered it. Just as I remembered it. I took a deep breath. I took a deep breath. And I could smell the familiar scent of flowers. And I could smell the familiar scent of flowers and trees. And trees. I walked through the small streets. I walked through the small streets. Everything seemed smaller now. Everything seemed smaller now. But it felt good. But it felt good. I saw the bakery where I used to buy bread. I saw the bakery where I used to buy bread every morning with my mom. Every morning with my mom. The smell of fresh bread. The smell of fresh bread reminded me of my childhood. It reminded me of my childhood. I could almost see myself. I could almost see myself. A little girl, a little girl, running around with my friends, running around with my friends, 
running around with my friends. We used to laugh and play. We used to laugh and play until the sun went down. Until the sun went down. As I continued walking, as I continued walking, I passed by my old school. I passed by my old school. I stood outside the gate. I stood outside the gate. Remembering my teachers and my friends. Remembering my teachers and my friends. I remembered the games we played. I remembered the games we played. And the stories we shared. And the stories we shared. My school was still painted the same color. My school was still painted the same color. I smiled. I smiled. Thinking about my favorite teacher, Ms. Linda. Thinking about my favorite teacher, Ms. Linda. Who always encouraged us to dream big. Who always encouraged us to dream big. Next, I went to the park. Next, I went to the park. This was my favorite place. This was my favorite place. There was a big tree in the middle of the park. There was a big tree in the middle of the park. And I remembered sitting under it. And I remembered sitting under it. Reading my favorite books. Reading my favorite books. I felt calm and happy under that tree. I felt calm and happy under that tree. Now, I sat there again. Now, I sat there again. Thinking about the happy times I had spent here. Thinking about the happy times I had spent here. Finally, I reached my old house.
Finally, I reached my old house. It looked smaller than I remembered. It looked smaller than I remembered. But it was still beautiful. But it was still beautiful. I looked at the windows. I looked at the windows. The door and the garden. The door and the garden. I could imagine my family inside. I could imagine my family inside. Laughing and having dinner together. Laughing and having dinner together. It felt like I had never left. It felt like I had never left. Returning to my hometown. Returning to my hometown. Reminded me of who I am. Reminded me of who I am. And where I come from. and where I come from. Even though I have grown up and moved away. Even though I have grown up and moved away. My hometown will always be a part of me. My hometown will always be a part of me. It is full of memories. It is full of memories. Laughter and love. Laughter and love. All right, let's listen to the story one more time. I am Maria. Last weekend, I returned to my hometown. I hadn't been there for a long time. The train ride was long, but I was excited to see my hometown again. As I got off the train, I looked around and saw the old train station. It looked the same, just as I remembered it. I took a deep breath, and I could smell the familiar scent of flowers and trees. I walked through the small streets. Everything seemed smaller now, but it felt good. I saw the bakery where I used to buy bread every morning with my mom. The smell of fresh bread reminded me of my childhood. I could almost see myself, a little girl, running around with my friends. We used to laugh and play until the sun went down. As I continued walking, I passed by my old school. I stood outside the gate, remembering my teachers and my friends. I remembered the games we played and the stories we shared. My school was still painted the same color. 
I smiled. Thinking about my favorite teacher, Ms. Linda, who always encouraged us to dream big. Next, I went to the park. This was my favorite place. There was a big tree in the middle of the park, and I remembered sitting under it, reading my favorite books. I felt calm and happy under that tree. Now, I sat there again, thinking about the happy times I had spent here. Finally, I reached my old house. It looked smaller than I remembered, but it was still beautiful. I looked at the windows, the door, and the garden. I could imagine my family inside, laughing and having dinner together. It felt like I had never left. Returning to my hometown reminded me of who I am and where I come from. Even though I have grown up and moved away, my hometown will always be a part of me. It is full of memories, laughter, and love. Good job today. Keep it up. Every lesson helps you get better at English. We're excited to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. Keep learning and see you soon.